back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you my fully furnished living room tour. And I'll be going over the details of where I got everything from. My decor, I feel like if I had to give it a name, I would call my style Then Romantic because I feel like that's the vibe. I feel like it gets very calming, very feng shui, very much romance. here with this little entryway mirror that I have. This mirror I got from my grandmother. So I cannot link it, but I'm sure you can find one similar. Now this mirror definitely adds to that romantic vibe that I try to give to my home. These chairs are from Amazon. I will try, I will link them, but they're no longer available. So if it allows me to give a link, I will, just so you can have it in case they come back and stop. But they are a gray suede and then they have rose gold legs to them. So they match the theme of my house as well. This little vase that I have on top of the table here is from Target. And the flower arrangement, it's from a mix of World Market and Home Goods and Target as well. Um, I have a reel on my Instagram if you like more details about the vase. I have a Bath and Body Works candle, mahogany and teak wood, everybody's favorite of course. And then this little setup right here is from Target. So the candles and the candle holder is from Target. Moving on to my living room, the star is the couch. It is from Wayfair. I believe the name of it is Lux 108. I will have it linked. I will say that this color is supposed to be a beige couch. I don't know what they sent me. This is not um, an option on the color choices that they have for this couch. I ended up getting it and I was surprised at first. I was like, okay, maybe it just looks different from the picture. And then I went back to the pictures. I went back to, they only have like, one or two videos about this couch on YouTube. So I used those videos for reference and I'm like, this couch is a lot darker than what it's supposed to be. So I reached out to Wayfair. They informed me that the couch was indeed not the correct color. And they gave me a little reimbursement on the couch. Um, I'm slightly disappointed in the color only because when it came to styling the room, I had to be a little bit more careful in my color choices but I'm also happy with the couch because I do have a dog and a young child so it'll be easier to keep this color clean but I feel like it would have been easier for me to not so much worry about my color choices if I would have had the correct beige couch when it came to styling my living room. So the pictures above the couch are from Amazon. I will have those linked. I like them, they go well with the theme, definitely giving the zany vibes. The fur throw on the couch is from a place called Dirt Cheap. I got this years ago, um, but I'm sure you can find throws like this anywhere. Everybody has those type of throws. Moving along to my favorite blanket here. This one is from Amazon, I absolutely love it. This blanket was $200, but I do feel like it was well worth the money. Um, it just goes along with my vibe for the room very well. It brings everything together. I feel like the camera does not do the way everything flows together in this room justice. And this little tray here is also from Amazon and I will have it linked. My rug is from Walmart and I'm sure you can get this type of rug anywhere. This is the perfect rug for me. It wasn't too big because I wanted to make sure 
that it didn't fill up the space too much and it's not too thick it's very easy to clean and it was only $30 at Walmart if I can find this rug I will link it then of course I have Alex's home here which if you've watched my blog then you already know this is from clearly low pits I will also have it linked down below love this for him I will probably do a separate video on Alex's room because I'm going to restyle it a little bit for him, just get some new things, revamp it, probably get him a new toy box. Not quite sure everything I'm gonna do, but once I do style that area, then there will be a video on that. This mirror again is also from my grandmother, so I cannot link it. Not quite sure how easy it be to find a dupe, Probably because I wanted to buy a mirror for this area and I forgot I had this mirror and it ended up fitting perfectly but I did want something a little bit taller and wider but this one fits really good so I may just keep this instead. I got that little dog bed from Target. Moving along to my favorite part of the room which is these candles here. So I got these from Amazon as well and I will link them. The roses are also from Amazon. The jars that I have are from Home Goods. So they also play into that very romantic vibe that I'm trying to give my space. I love these candles. Easy to turn off and on. They look very realistic. Especially when you have um, good batteries. Like my batteries maybe about to die. They run through batteries fairly quickly. But when you get a fresh set of batteries in there, they look uh, pretty much real. This TV stand is also from Amazon. The book is Tom Ford. Of course, you can get that off Amazon, some bookstores. The candles that I have up here, the black one is definitely from Hungus. The white one, I wanna say, is from Walmart. The little X box, box block sculpture thingy at the bottom is from Home Goods. That little pumpkin there, I put that for the season of fall, and it is from Family Dollar. The candle, the gray candle is from Target, and then of course the book is from Louis Vuitton. That little pink rose bear right here, it is a stress ball, and it's from Amazon. It came in one of those uh, fidget toy boxes that you can get for your kids, and I just really liked it. So I asked my daughter, could I have it? And I keep it right there. The chessboard is also from Amazon. And then on the opposite side, I just have the same thing with the roses and the candles.